often have their nest in the ground, a single nest, and they collect pollen and they collect nectar, uh, but they're uh, are responsible for a lot of pollination. And the, the population is down, I think. Yes. Um, Dave, do they sting people? They're not as likely to sting as regular Italian bees. And if you annoy them, yes, they, they will sting. Uh, the Italian bee, you can have, if you treat a bee uh, incorrectly, like if you get a bee in, in your hair, you just take your hand and you gently move your hand down and you take the bee away. But if you slap it and you break it and its biochemistry is released, then you have ten <laughs> other bees to, to, to protect their hive or whatever it is they're protecting. So yes, you have to be careful how you, you work yourself when you're doing it, working with a bee colony. We're going to go over to these very nice little pods uh, and uh, it's a legume, so you're lucky to get the seed of this one because uh, the other creatures that share your desire to get the seeds have already gotten in there before you get there. Here we have a uh, culvers root, nice candelabra, very elegant uh, in its way, and it's just starting to, the pollen sacs are out and, and the insects are on it. Uh, uh, There's one right here. The see if he Yes, look at look at his, his wow. yellow backside. In here we have a purple conifer, uh, and it gets bred from being a, a wimpy little coneflower with small petals. It gets to be a larger one. Uh, and again, a, 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 a butterfly weed is, is a milkweed. In, in the milkweed family. Uh, here's the spiderwort right here. This is a rather tough one. This is one of the few plants that can survive a lot of herbicide. If you, uh, if you see herbiciding along the railroad line, and that's kind of huge, then you'll find Protoscantia or uh, spiderwort, also called snotweed, because it's, when it breaks down, it has this sort of uh, thing that looks like what might come out of your nose. Know. Right behind you here is, is a Liatris. And there are several different species of Liatris. Uh, but this one has been set bred because see how many... Uh, if I were in the field I wouldn't see a Liatris with as many uh, spikes as that. There's a white one here. Uh, this one will be purple. It starts flowering at the top and comes down and it's sold a lot in, in, uh, in florist shops. I uh, noticed the, the uh, spiderwort behind it flowering until about midday and then it doesn't uh, flower. The uh, umbrellifery family. It's a, an umbrella with umbrellas on top of it. You can imagine all sorts of little gnomes sitting in there with umbrellas. Uh, so this is carrots, parsnips, hemlock, uh, dill, and they're all very flavorful, so uh, they're used in cooking too. Uh, some of them can be a nuisance. Uh, the hemlocks are poisonous, and all the carrot family has a juice in it that you don't want to get on your skin, so I tell people if they're going to pick it up after they've removed it from a prairie, is to pick it up by the middle or have gloves on so that you don't get the, the leakage of juice at the end because it can give you dermatitis.